Have you heard about the uh, the little, not little, 18-year-old who caused a bit of a stir on an aeroplane recently? No. Aditya Verma, 18, uh-huh. basically. He put on Snapchat, so he's at Gatwick, mm-hmm. ready to go flying to Mallorca or something. Uh-huh. Menorca, sorry. And he puts on Snapchat a picture of him at the airport with the caption, on my way to blow up a plane, brackets, I'm in the Taliban. <laughs> And if you couldn't tell by his name, Aditya Verma is a brown boy. Yes. Anyway, so he sends this off, right? He gets on the plane. He deserves whatever's about to happen. (laughs) Mid-flight, two Spanish fighter jets, either side of the plane, right? And then they escort it to Spain. Oh, my God. And he's arrested, obviously. Good. Um, And Oh, my God. He's held for two days by the Spanish police, and then he was released on on bail. I think the trial is currently happening now. If he's acquitted, he's going to have to pay for the cost of the jets, which is a hundred grand. And the real kicker is... They should do that because they need a deterrent from people just doing that as a joke. But Snapchat is supposed to be encrypted. So how did they see it? Oh, well, yes. Snapchat, no comment. Yeah. Um, But it was picked up by Spanish intelligence. Mm -hmm. I think Um, when it comes to, they'll have like code words in there that they're like, oh, it's terrorism. So we can bypass any. Yeah. Spain have just said, for unknown reasons, they obtained via security mechanisms is what they say. Yeah. Yeah. Through like privacy or whatever, Mm. whether whatever you're using encrypted, uh, incognito, whatever accounts for (laughs) bullshit when, when you use words that are going to be like flaggable as terrorist threats. So learn your lesson, children watching, (laughs) don't do it. Also, who still has Snapchat? 